Hell yeah. I really don't have it because it's so it's this news is so late. Uh, Rory and Mar, remember they got active and they probably gave us the best three five minutes of their podcast we had ever probably saw. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Where it was just Maul was turned up, blah, 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 inviting niggas to the Frank stand. You know all that good stuff. Savon and Alex to yeah. the Frank stand. What does that mean? Suck my. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Okay. So they. Uh, <laughs> That's elaborate. <laughs> it is. I can't remember who I heard say the Frank stand, but it's pretty funny. Shit. Yeah, but um, Savon and Alex. Did respond. They did like an emergency broadcast. <laughs> I watched that whole shit on accident. You did? Yeah. Me too. It, all right. On the accident. Yeah, it, like it just kept I saw playing. It. Yeah, I played Cause it. Because it wasn't, because it was like. You wanted it. I'm not going to. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to say this, man. I was working. Okay, you number one. I, oh, wish God, Reggie, yeah. I wish Reggie was there. I wish the girl was there. I think that she wasn't needed. I think that was, I think that was a strategic move. Well, it obviously was, but I think it was a smart move. You think it was a smart Strategic. move? What was she at? She wasn't. She yeah, she doesn't true. know these she, niggas. She wasn't in those meetings that I they think she would have been able to add questions because these are two people that were in the same situation, and I don't know whose story I, at this point with the whole Joe Budden podcast breakup. I literally don't give a fuck what the truth is. She anymore. She would have added the but most. She would have been ignorance is bliss. So exactly. It's like having it's a person. Like, if we middle. just been talking about what's been happening, but amongst this drama that we were all involved in, we've been telling each other the same story. We. Our details might be different from their details. So an objective per party like Lauren could be like, okay, but what about when that happened? Like, mm -hmm. what did y'all do then? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, maybe. Yeah. So I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Just two niggas, like, I don't know. You know what I mean? It's just kind of whatever. Because even Rory and Maul, they were both there, but they still have other niggas, their production, asking questions and interjecting yeah. and help guiding the story timeline because they might just go off into a rant exactly which a lot of what that need to know podcast was i don't know it just felt like a lot of just like reminiscing on these old stories and yeah. replaying the timeline and I, it just wasn't entertaining you know what i'm saying yeah. like i feel like reggie yeah. would have added i feel like reggie would have added more entertainment because we would have had somebody throw at least a question out yeah. they just going back and forth like and if it was like that you, my fault go ahead no, no you're good and if it was like that they need a moderator Things yeah. like that, or when not interviews, podcasts, my fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel yeah. like this was more like a PSA that just happened to be an hour long. I don't yeah. think that they were trying to entertain niggas. This was like a, this was literally a formal response to some shit that happened. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And this is my first time listening to these these two individuals and in like full, and I, it's like, I'm going to be honest, they kind of some cool ass niggas. I ain't going to hold you. Like, I believe whatever they were saying, just because they feel like they're being honest. You get what I'm saying? They don't, they wasn't approaching it from the standpoint of like, like, we trying to get on right now. We trying to get these viral clips off. Yeah. We just going to say anything and be salacious just for the sake of it. They yeah. seem like they was really offended by some niggas that they tried to protect. There was a little bit I of mean, dunking and dodging, though. Of course they're going to feel like that. Probably a little bit, you know. This is what, this is what, uh, this is a little bit This is what kind of irritated me with it. It was that, it's like they kept, saying I think what <laughs> what offended them was that they thought that Roy and Maul were their friends. Right. So yeah. when so when they turned up on them, they just kept reminding us throughout that whole hour and a half podcast that these are people that I've always supported and I've always respected and I've always <laughs> And it's like, he obviously, these niggas obviously don't give a fuck about They didn't mm -hmm. give a fuck about you, bro. That's what it obviously comes down to. You know what I'm saying? So it was like you were like... It's like we were watching them, their hurt kind of unfold because mm -hmm. they thought they had closer friendships than they had. Yeah. And I was like, this is kind of yeah, hard. It was, was kind of hard for me to watch. I was like, ah, it's I don't like think. the B. Simone and the Ashley shit. Like, it was, a little bit, bro. A yeah, little yeah, bit, bro. A little bit. But just better because they weren't as emotional about it. Yeah, for sure. But I do sure. feel like they genuinely felt like they were misunderstood. Possibly. Maul whatever did, Maul, whatever, about whatever intent that Rory and Maul got from like the clip of when Joe was on there, yeah. I think that they genuinely felt like, nah, we didn't mean it like how you took it. Man, they got an outstanding like objective even... party who's saying that like Parks is really on Rory and Maul's side on some shit. And he, I feel like he's being mad objective about it. Parks? Yeah, he's he's literally saying that like Savon and Alex, they just kind of told that misrepresented things. Like, so I wanted to hear I wanted to hear how they combat that. Directly, and yeah, they and really like, that, that Alex way. did say something, and they just didn't get that out the way. Wait, like, yeah, it was just like, just say that's what you said, and then just, yeah, clean, just, it up just clean it up, just clean it up, just clean up. Like, say you it is what, what you said and clean up. So that's yeah. why I say it was a little bit of duck and dodge. 
Both parties are fucking delusional. Like, who gets both, <laughs> both the niggas like, is probably wrong. Bro, and it's, you but know they are good, I mean? though. I that's like how them. I feel. I feel they're like, good. Like, they're that's good. all. The overall, good. they feel like good people. Yes. So it, it oh, just feels people, believable yeah. Yeah, because sure. it's like, why would this nigga lie? I could say that. What about good podcasters, though? I think they're, uh, they're pretty good. They, they're not, like, obviously the most just entertaining, but I think yeah. just in terms of, like, being able to communicate a message and. Mm-hmm. And know what you're saying, articulating yourself well. They can do that. I think they're better than Rory. This was all. also not like the. Well, I'm not gonna hold you. There was a few moments where I was like, I feel like they should be joking about this a little bit. It was so serious. I felt that's it was true. very serious. It was like, like God damn, it was serious. I was like, but this what? is serious to these niggas, obviously. They had the level of seriousness that Rory and Maul deserved. You know what I'm saying? And it was like they weren't like the children that got like. Split decision, like we one went with the dad, one with the mom type shit, uh-huh. and it was like hearing their opinion. That's how like Roy and Maul would look. He kind of treated them, niggas, they was treating okay. them like y'all niggas were side characters. This is our issue that we had. Relax, yeah. mm-hmm. you're side characters. But then it's also like Savon seemed really upset mm-hmm. of how uh, Maul and them was coming at him, and he Alex, did, yeah. Alex is definitely upset. Like they're like, yo, this nigga is talking crazy, but it's like. Bro, this is obviously the. It's like, what did y'all think was gonna happen if you're gonna ask a bunch of Rory and Maul questions with Joe Budden presence there? We mm-hmm. all know this is a sore spot. Why are we confused when these niggas turn up on you? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, yeah. you up here like surprised that Maul fucking got out of character with you. Mm-hmm. This is a sore spot. This has been this biggest sore spot in black podcasting. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Black podcasting. <laughs> yeah. black podcasting. Well, not at all. No, low key in podcasting period because yeah. there was a lot of Their people podcasting. Who, yeah, no, nah, it was a lot of people. It's a sore spot. The, the breakup caught a lot of people that didn't even listen yeah. to them ever. They were like, oh my God, they're breaking up. Yeah. Just like the Call of Daddy shit. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I heard about that when it was happening. I'm like, damn. And there was a fall off at that time for viewership. Like, yeah, niggas, and I had yeah. never heard of the Call of Daddy girls Man. until that breakup thing because it was big. It hit both sides. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just like, I was just like confused on watching their like can't believe he said this about me or he turned up on me when it's like nigga you ask questions these niggas don't fuck with each other and you keep yeah. you're asking questions I'm expecting a nigga to turn up possibly at least possibly yeah it's just I don't know man it depends just, on the question you're not asking happy questions I'm not asking happy questions I'm going to your sore mm. spot period I'm going yeah. immediately yeah. to your sore spot and then having a nerd to throw my two cents in this nigga definitely might be mad yeah yeah probably but I think that they came at it from the perspective of we always defend Rory and Maul. Like, we're kind of Rory and Maul mm. apologists to a certain extent. Yeah. So the fact that you nigga, like the nigga, imagine the nigga that you've been protecting, Loki, started dissing you. When you obvi- when you didn't that. have the intention of hurting the nigga feeling. Well, you did say something incorrect. Probably. And they did address so it. They said they that. misspoke. Yeah. Niggas is human at yeah. the end of the day. Well, but did. I do feel the sentiment of like, nigga, like, I was your biggest I feel that. advocate. I don't feel that sentiment and now you because... Shit. I feel what he's saying. I don't feel that sentiment just because when they were breaking the, their relationship down, it was like a lot of, I supported you, I posted this when you dropped your um, album. It, it wasn't like a corporate environment. Like, right. everybody is like, I'm not trying to knock you down. But I'm also like not trying to. It's weird. Like yeah, it's, it, just, it's it's so balanced. Yeah, yeah. You get what I mean? It's just a corporate environment. Like everybody was just out for themselves. Like they're you feel me? The the, way, of course, the two editor niggas was right. on the same team. Of course, right. this is, of course, Rory right. and Maul was on the same team. Right. Yeah, that's, 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 that's true. That's true. That's true. This is nothing but a corporate. You know what I mean? Yeah. So disagreement. It's, what is it about Joe that niggas click up around him? Like niggas don't just leave Joe. They make friends and then they go. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yo, this they nigga do. that made two niggas, best friendships. Niggas find best friends. I think that's I mean, everybody. That is. Oh, yeah, that are kind of like all people, friend groups. Yeah. Not all you five people on shit link you don't up. Like. Joe yeah. can't keep friends, but he can make them. Make friend relationships. Make yeah, ladies yeah, a yeah. matchmaker. Yeah, I don't know, man. That shit is kind of it's kind of crazy. Out I don't know. Just that response. I do wish I kind of do wish Reggie was there. I just kind of do wish she was there cuz maybe it would have been more entertaining. Probably not. I but don't think so. Shout out to them <laughs> niggas. Uh, I think that was the <laughs> best Honestly. move. That was the best move, you think? Yeah. Cuz even in so interview with Joe, she didn't really like she 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 didn't go crazy. She, she didn't, wasn't no, asking no. a lot she of questions, you feel me? Like She was just there. I love that. 
you know, shit like that. Great ad living. Not yeah. to say that she's bad at podcasts. I haven't really seen her enough to I say that. But she definitely either. wasn't needed for that, nigga. That, this, like you said earlier about you trying to explain the whole Dijon situation to somebody who doesn't know. Right, yeah. Like, it's so many, so many layers to the story. Yeah. We've been talking about it for so many years. <sighs> Catching her up would involve them not talking about what they really want to talk about. Yeah. I think Park should go over there next. See, I just I believed too. everything. I'm believing everybody. So, like... It makes it fun in that way. It does. I have I have a great time. Like that's why it's just like <laughs> mm. I I don't even handle the Joe Budden breakup with care at all. Who gives a fuck? Mm-hmm. It's like mm-hmm. w- in my mind, if Roy or Maul say something, I believe them hundred percent. Joe, you better <laughs> refute this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If Alex and Savon said, "Nigga, I'm on your side," yeah. I believe you too. Park said you're wrong. Oh shit, I believe Parks now. Right. I don't give a fuck no more. You know what I'm saying? It's just you like, just got your popcorn ready. <laughs> it's just nigga. fuck it, nigga. It's like who who's gonna have the best response? And right. then after I hear the response, then I'll determine did I think Sir lying? But it's so much shit that's happened. I don't even know no more. I don't yeah. give a fuck. It's mm. it's officially become hard to follow if you're not paying who attention. This to is the like details, a soap like, opera. Ooh. Characters have died and came back. Yeah, yeah they did time travel. Yeah, this is the Shoot. bad by diary. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this yeah, shit, yeah. It's just it's a never ending yeah. season, and I don't care because it always does good on YouTube. So and, it's like and it is entertaining. To, yeah, so it's now, like that's what, I don't even try to handle that situation with care. Mm-hmm. Fuck it, who cares? I believe everybody. Are there diminishing returns at a certain point? Do you think that we as a public, the consumers, is going to get to the point where we're like, nigga, y'all still talking about this? This is, is still bothering I'm me. I'm there now, but I don't care just because people care. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, people really care. I wasn't a diehard Rory Joe Mall fan. So it was like that breakup didn't affect us. But if, like, the brilliant idiots all broke up, that shit would be crazy. Like if the brilliant yeah. idiots all broke up and it was like Taylor had a different story. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fuck Chris. Chris pop, was chiming Chris in with his lines. Chris had a different right, story. Right, right, yeah. Shows had a different. I'd be invested for some years too, probably if I just kept getting bits, bits and pieces. pieces uh-huh. new I'd keep coming, coming back. I'd keep coming yeah. back for sure. Wags yeah. talking some shit. Yeah, you know what I'm You're saying. Just like, like all women. these fucking characters, just mm-hmm. like yeah. keep adding their two cents. Five years later, I'd be locked in. So yeah. I don't care. It's just. It's because that wasn't my love. That, that podcast wasn't my love. But like, you understand the lore behind it. I understand why people care so fucking much because they loved it. They love it, bro. But yeah. yeah uh, it's fucked up. <laughs> it's fucked up. <laughs> it's fucked up, but uh, uh, shit. y'all continue to beef. I think it's been a good year. Yeah. Uh, I like that Alex and Savon have jumped into the fold. Now we yeah. have another voice to look out for and then when Rory and Maul and all this comes back talking. up. Because it will. It will. Yeah, it will. Like, I We're never going to avoid it. wonder what the doorman at the studio that used to work at. The, the doorman yeah. might pop up beef. next. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we don't. The janitor. So, somebody, Just get a random Amazon. You know, nigga, I, you know, I, I seen do. it all go down. Yeah, That's what yeah, I mean. Yeah, there's a nigga that we don't even know. We we might know he's there sometimes, but it's like. That nigga got two cents too. He got two cents too. And we might get that into. 2025. Alex and Savon. <laughs> Alex and Savon just entered the fold. We got they got all 2024 to play. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you know they what got I'm friends too. And they got friends. Mm-hmm. That, but just that they told. But just judging off of their character, hey, again, I only saw this shit for hours. Yeah, yeah. It feels like they not gonna stay in the drama like that. It's like they, they did say we'll never bring this up again. But Rory and Maul say that too, and we get and a, we, we get go. a good one out of them know every Rory year. Rory was gonna bring that shit up again. Yeah, that's yeah. true. But it's all about how somebody else addresses you. Because if they say the right thing, you are gonna have to say something about it for sure. Yeah. Well, you know, they and you in this, and you in this space, so it's like more than likely at some point you gotta speak on it. Yeah. 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 Because you can't. Yeah. And I think Joe, I saw something on Reddit where Joe Biden was like, it's never over. Some shit like that. And I appreciate that. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who cares? Let's not let's not ever handle this with care anymore. Mm-hmm. Until never. they like all get in the room. But this is the best part about this whole breakup. I think even if they were all in the room, it would never, it still wouldn't be right. What do you mean? Somebody's gonna say they're lying. Oh, it's yeah. Like yeah. them all getting together, it'll literally never be solved, no. I don't think. This has every- been I think it's just the greatest podcast storyline of all time. Everybody's lying. Do you think that could happen? Probably. Probably. Everything's possible. Well, if you was betting on it, like... Might not. How much money you put in there? You know, how many years? Within you know, how many Ma- years? Yeah, yeah. You know, Maul really stands on being a real nigga. <laughs> like, so we don't know if he'll ever do it because Maul stands on being a real nigga. Yeah, Maul has that code. Yeah, yeah so. he's not breaking that. He's not breaking that. <laughs> he would really have to be down The bad. real yeah. nigga code. I mean, he would really have to be down bad to break his code, but this is allegedly we don't know. Even when he's down bad, he has no problem like 
staying at a basketball husband's staying house. Staying on a couch. So, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, there it might not be a real down bad to him Maybe if all the couches run out. And I don't know if you're homeless, but if all the couches run out, he might be down for a check. Yeah, yeah. He might be out of first round draft picks. That's a fact. I mean, that whole breakup was like a blessing in disguise for them all, though. Blessing? Uh, well, for, I think for, they for, all, for Joe. For Joe. Was. I was about to say, I think they for all Joe. eventually I, I, found I the silver lining. Yeah. I but agree, it wasn't man. an immediate like no, no, no. For us. Rory and Maul, in, in the long run, it was a blessing for Joe. Like, Rory and Maul look up. more mentally stable because of it. Yeah, I well, don't Rory, know. Rory always had a career, but I think it. I think it was the biggest blessing for Maul because I don't know if he had any. We don't know. We don't know. He. We, we just knew him as Joe Budden's best friend. No yeah. disrespect. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we at least knew like Rory was working in the music industry and had a regular paycheck coming in type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, A&R, which basically means nigga, you just... A nigga outside. <laughs> you're, like, you're, a S, you're a SDR. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just a vague term, nigga. <laughs> yeah. What are you playing? I was just going to look at how them niggas look. You said they look good. I was just like, I'm just looking to see. You mean by good? I ain't say... Well, I, them niggas look healthier, mentally stable. Oh yeah, Sometimes I don't know. Rory always to me looks like he's on the verge. He of always looks nervous, but that's he just always, his yeah. face. Yeah. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? You can't. Or he's battling stop. depression. <laughs> just be looking weird. Yeah, vigorously. Yeah. Right. Nah. Maul be looking sad as shit too. I ain't that's gonna what lie. I'm saying. That's what I was. Yeah. That's what I was like. Yeah, that's his face, that's just Maul's man. face. Yeah. He got I just, that. I just want him to turn up again. But oh. you, you like pun. You like chaos. But God, I like yeah. good chaos. Pun is like pun is like a nigga dressing up as the Joker for Batman. You know, like he's like he hasn't fine tuned it. Even though I feel like he should have had it fine tuned by now, it's not sloppy stuff. Joe is like the Joker. Shit is just maniacal. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The nigga's working long plays. He plays on stretching this to 2020s. He plays sure. on stretching this for the next 10 years. For he sure. knows how he's gonna slow feed it. Exactly. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he already yeah, wrote it yeah. down. He, he wrote knows it, how he he's wrote gonna it down five him. years ago. Sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit like that. So it's like he knows how he's gonna convince them niggas to get on a mic again. Yeah, you like, know what it's what I'm probably saying? already written. It's, he's he's working the whole play out. He got a bunch of pieces that he just ain't even dropped yet. That nigga's mm-hmm. sick. Shout out to him though. You know what I'm saying? Nigga's it's crazy. Like, what if this nigga's really playing checkers? <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. getting lucky as a bitch. <laughs> yeah, but he he didn't got lucky nah, a lot. Yeah, nah, you know this, what I'm is, this is calculated so, <laughs> at this point. Yeah, so <laughs> it's hard to lose when the people on your side. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact too. But nah, um, man, I'm skipping all of this. We're done. It's twelve. <laughs>